Okay, class, we are going to start on chapter 11 now. It's the last chapter of geometry in the book. After that, we're going to be doing algebra. So we're going to just work slowly through it. We've got plenty of time. So the first section is uh, circumference and arc length. So I've drawn a circle here. And circumference means the outside. So the whole outside of this circle is a circumference. Okay, and in a circle, uh, that would be 360 degrees or 2 pi r. So 360 degrees is the same as 2 pi r. Those are radian measures. Okay, they mean the same thing, a complete circle. And there's two formulas for a circle. We've already been through the diameter. The diameter goes through the center of the circle. It goes from one end to the next, and the radius is half of the diameter. So if the diameter were 10, the radius would be 5. So you can see that one formula is the circumference equals the diameter times pi. And pi is, you've heard of this, approximately 3.14. Um, just keeps going on forever, never ends. So... They approximate it to 3.14. Of course, that's not exact. Uh, another formula, then, if we know that the radius is half of the diameter, we can also say 2 pi r. So the pi is the same, but we have two radiuses instead of one diameter. So that's why it does not matter which one you use to solve. So we're going to start with a quick example. So we're going to find the circumference of a circle um, with radius of, so we're looking for the circumference, and the radius is 9 centimeters. Okay, so we have the radius, so obviously you're going to pick the formula that works the best. So obviously it's going to be this one, so we're going to use 2 pi r. So we know that circumference equals 2 pi, and the radius is 9, so the circumference is 2 times 9, so 18 pi, and if you put that in your calculator, you can simplify it, 18 times pi, approximately, because it's not going to be exact, is going to be equal to 56.55, okay, centimeters, because that's what so it's fairly easy. You're given the radius. If you're given the diameter, you'd use a different um, formula. So B, okay, you've got a radius of a circle with, they want you to find the radius, okay, with a circumference of 26 meters. So now you don't have the radius, but you do have the circumference. So you're still going to use B equals 2 pi r, but now you're going to plug in 26 where the circumference is. So just say 26 equals 2 pi r. So I'm looking for this. I'm looking to solve for the radius. So obviously they're all multiplied together. That means I have to divide, so I'm going to divide by 2 pi. I'm going to divide this by 2 pi. This is going to become 1. So the radius is 26 over 2 pi, which if you stick in your calculator is approximately 4.14. It's not an absolute because it goes on forever pi, as I explained, but it's approximately 4.14, and you want to put the units, which are meters right here, okay? All right, I'm going to show you a picture of this. I'm going to work this, I printed it from the book. It's easy to see, so we can do it step by step. Sometimes I'm going to have to do this. Okay, use circumference to find the distance traveled. So the dimensions of a car tire, so here you see the car tire are shown at the right to the nearest foot. How far does the tire travel when it makes 15 revolutions? So first of all, a revolution is a whole cycle, so it's like a circumference. 
So that means a tie is turned 15 times. Also, they want the answer in feet. I've underlined that because if you look here, we have inches. So you always have to be careful in math. If you have two different units, you're going to have to put it to the unit that they're asking for. So we we'll worry about changing it at the end. So we want to find the diameter. The diameter is the whole length from here to here. So that means I have to add 5.5 .5 plus 15 plus 5.5. So when we do that, we come up with 26 inches. So the diameter from here to here is 26 inches. So that shouldn't be a problem. So now we want to find the circumference because the circumference is the revolutions. So the circumference is through one time, but we know that it's made 15 times. So whatever we find, we're going to multiply by 15. But let's start out finding the circumference. Since we know the diameter, not the radius, we're going to use circumference equals pi times the diameter. So we're going to plug in because we know the diameter is 26. So circumference equals pi times 26. And when we plug that into our calculator, we get 81.68 inches. Remember, this is in inches right now. So, so far we found the circumference of the tire turning one time. It's 81.68. But go back and look. It says it turns 15 times. So that means we have to take that number and we have to multiply it by 15. So right here, 15 times 81.68 is equal to 1,225.2 inches. Okay, so this is great. You found everything up in inches and that's correct so far. But the very last thing they want you to do is to turn it to feet. It says to the nearest foot. So we know that one foot is equal to 12 inches. So what you do is you take the number here, which you have 1,225.2 inches times one foot is equal to 12 inches. So you can write it as a fraction. This is called dimensional analysis. You have done it, maybe not for a while, but as long as the inches cross out, you've got an inch and an inch here. So 1225.2 times 1 divided by 12 gives 102 feet approximately. So the final answer in feet is the uh, wheel goes 102 feet total. Okay, so... Like I said, this worked very well showing you the graph rather than me trying to draw it again. And hopefully you understand you have this video so you can watch through if you need to. OK, we're going on and we're going to find arc lengths. We've talked about arc lengths. So you know what arcs are. So we are going to write a new formula to find arc lengths. So let me look and write this down for you. So here we go. Arc length of the arc AB over 2 pi r is equal to the arc AB over 360. So we can go ahead and we can simplify it and say arc AB over 360 times 2 pi r. So this is a formula. So this is what we're looking at. So say we have this. This is A. This is B. This is P. That's circle P. And R is right here the radius, so we can use that formula. Arc AB over 360 times 2 pi r. So let's go ahead and start with some examples. 
So it says find the length of each red arc. So here's the first one. So I have a little circle. It's called P. And this is 8 centimeters. This is 60 degrees. This is A, B, and P. Okay? So we want to find the arc length here of AP. Okay? Arc length of AP. So we know that this is 60. So following the formula, this is the formula that we're following right here. Okay? So arc AB right here is 60 over 360 times 2 pi, and we know the radius here is 8. So plug it in. Put this over 1. When you simplify, you're going to use your calculator, and it's going to be approximately 8.38 centimeters. So 8 and 3,800 centimeters. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, I've got a circle. And this is called circle R. Don't worry about my drawing. It's not perfect. This is 120 degrees. And this is 11 centimeters. Call this G. Call this H. Okay, so the radius is 11. And here, this angle is 120. That means that this arc is the same, 120. So let's go ahead and plug in and find the length of GH. Okay. So we're looking for the length of GH, which is 120 over 360 times 2 pi, and the radius here is 11. Okay, so this is 120 over the 360 times 2 pi, and then the radius is 11. When we figure that out, we come up with approximately 23.04 centimeters. Okay, so there you're finding arc lengths whatever art they're asking you for. Okay, here we're going to use arc lengths to find measures. So they're giving us a circle and they want us to find the circumference of C of circle Z. Okay, so here let me draw it. Center is Z, that's why it's called circle Z. And then you have this, this is X, this is Y. And inside this angle is 40 degrees. And this arc here is 4.19. Okay, so we're looking at the arc length of XY over C. because that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find the whole circumference. We know this, and we know this, and we want to find this circumference, the measure. Okay, equals, sorry, xy, arc xy, over 360 degrees. All right, so we're going to plug in. We know that this is four point. 1, 9, the arc length of xy, over the circumference here, we don't know, that's what we're looking for, equals the arc of xy, which is right here, this is the 40 degrees, and then 360. So we're going to cross multiply, we're going to figure this out, and when you cross multiply and you solve, the circumference is coming out to 37.71 inches. So that means this whole thing is 37.71 inches.
Okay, so that's finding the circumference. Now, on this one, they want you to find the arc RS. Okay, so here is your circle. So it depends what they're asking you for. Still use the same formula. So they're saying the radius here is 15.28 because they're pointing to this, this is the radius. The circle is T, S, and R, and this here is 44 meters, okay? So they want us to find this arc. So we're looking for the arc length of R, S over 2 pi R equals arc R S and then over out of 360. Okay, so we know that this is 44. So this is given, we're looking for the angle. So 44 over 2 pi, and we know the radius is 15.28 is equal so we're looking here for this angle. We don't know that, that's the unknown. Out of 360. When we cross multiply, simplify, you should come up with that angle of the arc is 165 degrees. So this is looking for the angle, looking right here. So that is 165, all right? So it depends what they're asking you for. So pay attention when they're looking. You're still using the same formula because um, you can see that both of them are using the same formulas. But here they want the circumference. Okay, so that's what we're looking for here. And here on this one, they want the actual angle right here. Okay, so just pay attention to that same formula. but You're looking for a different part of it. Okay, guys, that is it for 11.1. I'm going to let you work on that. Uh, I also have videos on other videos on YouTube that are linked that you can watch. So just keep watching and hopefully as you're practicing, you'll understand it more and more. Okay, God bless, guys.